Hello everyone. Welcome to the commencement exercises for the Delaware Valley High School class of 2020. At this time, I would like to introduce senior John Babbitts, who will lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. I would like to introduce our next speaker, Principal Dr. Blom. Good afternoon and welcome, seniors, parents, family, staff, and friends of the class of 2020. Despite arguably the strangest year we have ever experienced, the class of 2020 has excelled in academics, athletics, and in serving our community. This year's senior class propelled us to once again be named as one of the best high schools in America, according to US News and World Reports. The high school had 134 AP scholars, the highest percentage in DV history. Two students were named to the Scranton Times Scholastic Superstars team. Our district was once again honored with the Best Communities for Music Education Award, and we were one of only 143 high schools in the United States honored as a distinguished high school by Project Lead the Way. The class of 2020 will be attending many impressive colleges and universities, including the Naval Academy at Annapolis, the University of Washington, Swarthmore College, Lehigh University, Carnegie Mellon, William and Mary, Johnson and Wales, the Culinary Institute of America, Kenyon University, Messiah College, the University of Pittsburgh, the Rochester Institute of Technology, and Penn State. Although significantly shortened, our warrior co-curricular and athletic teams had another amazing year. The Delaware Valley FBLA program was named outstanding chapter in the state of Pennsylvania for a third year in a row. At the Scholastic Arts Competition, DV had 29 total awards, 10 gold keys, 9 silver keys, and 10 honorable mentions, as well as two National American Visions winners. Through the winter season, there were seven district championship teams and four league championships. We had an individual state medalist in wrestling. Delaware Valley was recognized with three Scranton Times All Regional Player of the Year awards, including football, girls swimming, and wrestling. Overall, 30 seniors have committed to continuing their athletic careers at the collegiate level next year. The class of 2020 performed many community service projects and donated to many organizations during the school year, including the United Way Day of Caring, the Salvation Army, Empty Bowls Food Drive, the Humane Society, Safe Haven, Student and Staff Blood Drives. Our student council supported drives for the local food pantries and Toys for Tots and DVFBLA logged almost 3,000 community service hours, second most in the state of Pennsylvania. To the 19 students who plan on serving our nation in the military, we appreciate you and will keep you in our thoughts and prayers. While no one anticipated how this year would end, the class of 2020 will always be remembered at Delaware Valley. In spite of missing athletic competitions, extracurricular opportunities, and senior year traditions, the class of 2020 preserved and battled to the end, showing true warrior spirit. Due to the hardships these students had to endure, I believe the graduates of the class of 2020 will be stronger and better equipped to deal with the difficulties that life presents as they follow their chosen path into the future. Our next speaker is senior class president, John Babbitts. Faculty, alumni, students, fellow graduates, school board members, friends, and family. Welcome to the 2020 Delaware Valley High School Commencement Ceremony. I would like to congratulate the senior class of 2020, not only for this great achievement, but also for consistently exceeding the expectations of others as a student body. As Paul Bremer so famously declared, Ladies and gentlemen, we got them. We managed to complete four years of high school, in addition to the years of schooling prior to our time at Delaware Valley High School. Despite the many crises of today, 
we have managed to overcome each of them. We were born in the months following the attack on the World Trade Center, and we entered society as young adults during a pandemic unprecedented in our lifetimes. There has been much that has happened in between. In just the four years we spent in high school, we experienced and witnessed a plethora of the world's many challenges. Let us look back to our very first year of high school. During freshman year, the Summer Olympics took place in Brazil. Donald J. Trump was elected the 45th president of the United States. And the notorious Pokemon Go took the world by storm. In our school, our class was the first freshman group offered to take an AP class and the first to experience the new gym. We won against the sophomore class in the Spirit Games and even found a handful of our classmates playing on varsity teams. Overall, we aimed to set high expectations for the years to come. We then traversed into sophomore year, which became another year of first. Our football team was completely undefeated in districts, a highlight of the year. For the high school's theater production of Peter Pan, we had the opportunity to have students fly across the stage. Aside from school developments, we were hit with Snowmageddon of 2018. After over a week without power, we ended the year on a comparatively high note. Then came our junior year. Now, we were upperclassmen. In the wake of unexpected sorrows, we began to grow as a class and as adults. We mourn the loss of our fellow classmate, Kyle Pasco, who passed in the fall of 2018. While he may not have had the chance to join us in graduating, he will always remain in our hearts as a friend to many and a member of our class. Finally, there was senior year. We started strong and worked toward our goals as we prepared to tackle the challenges that lie past high school. In the midst of our pursuit, it occurred to us that this is truly our last year together. So we aim to make the most of it. We finally dressed up for senior Halloween, cheered our football team on to victory at our last Warrior Fest, and had a homecoming dance to be remembered. Had carolers caroling on the day before winter break, had a remarkable turnout for our early morning pep rally, and experienced a senior tea which saw a few too many names mispronounced. Even though our year was cut short, I'm happy to say we finally crossed the finish line. We finished our classes, took our exams, wrote our essays, and did as much as we could to help each other through an unparalleled time. But it raises the question, did we better ourselves as much as we could in the time we spent here? This place has done much to provide and instill such institutions in us. And now, it is time to utilize them. In 18 years, we have discovered passions great dreams that make a difference, visions unique to us. This small group holds the potential to pursue any of these dreams, big or small, but only if we commit ourselves to them. When things get tough, we toughen up with them. We overcome these challenges, the pessimism and cynicism thrown at us, because we not only learn from them, we grow from them. We better ourselves, setting a positive example to those around us. We are proud of our heritage, proud of those who built us up and defined us. I hope I can speak for our class when I say we are ready to persevere and tackle life's obstacles. And why is it that we can do these things while others choose not to? It is because we are determined. It is because we are independent thinkers. It is because we our warriors. Thank you. Next is our salutatorian address by Timothy Lloyd.
When preparing for this speech, plenty of memories from the past 13 years came rushing through my mind. My first day of school as a kindergartner, excitement for field day in elementary school, anticipation for the first day of school as a freshman, the stress of writing my first research paper, the ultimate stress of studying for the SATs and AP tests. And as I was thinking about these things, it struck me how all of this, the entirety of our education, has led to just one moment, graduation. It may not seem like much at first glance, but looking back, I am struck at nearly every turn by the progression and layering of our experiences. Whether great or small, they were all building towards something. They were indeed building towards our graduation, but they were moving towards something deeper than that as well. I believe we were given challenges and adventures so that we might become real people with unique personalities and perspectives. And above the many achievements that our class has earned along the way, the thing that I am most proud of in the graduating class of 2020 is the wide array of personalities and perspectives that have thrived in our school. You don't find a kazoo club or someone with the talent to sing a Minecraft parody of Country Roads in every class, but ours had something special and everyone had something to contribute. It shocks me to realize how much we've grown over the past 13 years, as well as how we've grown in just this past year. I remember early in the year when I first took over as the head drum major in our school's marching band. I began getting much more attention than I had ever been used to getting, and to tell the truth, I didn't really know what to do with it. It was all so much. I was far more comfortable working behind the scenes, but there is something to be said for growing up and acting in spite of our fears. So I did the best that I could to speak up and meet needs, and I met many bumps along the way. It was anything but easy, but it was my responsibility. I had to set the example, and I had to have the humility for others to check my actions and critique my methods. I was often forced to stretch outside of my comfort zone, but I grew, and that turned out to be one of the most influential seasons of my life. It was remarkable to have younger students looking up to me not only as a friend, but as a leader. It was a great privilege to work with such students, and it blew me away how much of an impact they, in turn, had on me. I hope I served them well. They will always share a part in my success. I have no doubt that many seniors could share similar stories of growth through new responsibilities. It is a privilege to lead and to learn from such experiences. Leaders come in many forms, but real leaders are marked by their service of others. I am so proud of the many leaders who have emerged in our class, and I know that many will enjoy the benefits of the dedication and service of our servant leaders in the future. As I begin to close, I want to point out that we have not yet reached the end of our journey. In fact, for many of us, this is only the beginning. We must continue to make choices and spend time and find what is truly meaningful. So I urge you to take advantage of each moment. Please, look outside of yourself. You will not find meaning there. Instead, look to serve others and study the world for yourself. Be proactive and don't waste your life. We have all been given a remarkable gift, and with that gift comes opportunity and purpose. You are created for much more than money or fame or anything else that the world can offer. In the end, it does not matter at all what you have or what others think of you. It only matters where your hope lies and where you find your purpose. I am not ashamed to say that I am certain the purpose of every human life is to know and serve our Creator God according to His Word under His grace. These things are the mark of a life filled with joy, a joy that is replenished by a constant spring of grace from a loving and merciful God who meets the needs of His people for His glory. But since many of you do not agree with me, I would like to challenge you to search for that meaning. Whatever you do, do not give up your pursuit of truth. The journey is endless, and there is so much to see. It has been an honor to be called one of your peers, 
and I wish you all the best as you move forward into the next season of your lives. I could never thank all of you enough for your love and friendship and support over the past 13 years. From teachers, to friends, to administrators, to parents, to members of the community, they have all provided us with a solid foundation as we look to build our lives towards the future, and any of our success is a reflection of them. I may have gone a little over my time by this point, but hopefully I will be forgiven for that. As a final encouragement to the class, I thought I'd leave you with this. It's a quote from C.S. Lewis. Lewis said, you can't go back and change the beginning, but you can start where you are and change the ending. Thank you for your time and attention, and I wish you all the best in everything your future brings. Next is our student council president, Mia Vanwee. Class of 2020, today we graduate. However, since I'm filming this a day in advance, technically tomorrow we graduate. But actually, by the time you hear this speech, we will already have graduated. Despite how unexpected and bizarre the circumstances may be, our last few months in quarantine and the conditions of our graduation perfectly represent how unique 2020 is. I can definitely say this is not the way I envisioned delivering this graduation speech. Throughout the year, I was worrying about being up on this stage in front of hundreds of people stuttering and stumbling over my words while my friends were in the crowd writing down every word that I botched so that they could terrorize me about it for the rest of my life. While this is not what we all thought our time at Delaware Valley would end like, we can certainly all agree that we reached an ending like none other. To quote Oprah Winfrey's commencement speech to the class of 2020, I know you may not feel like it, but you are indeed the chosen class for such a time as this, the class of 2020. You're also a united class, the pandemic class, that is the entire world striving to graduate with you. I cannot agree more with this statement. As devastating as it was, not being able to finish out our final year at DV with a prom, senior barbecue, award ceremonies, sports season, a traditional graduation, or even just walking the halls one last time to say goodbye to our childhood friends, we were able to endure, if not enjoy, so much more than any other class has ever experienced. The class of 2020 is the first class to have our ever have not just one, but two numbers up on the mountain. We were able to take 45 minute AP exams instead of having to sit in the media center for four hours giving our lives to the college board. For most of us, we were able to see straight A's on our power school for the first time. That is, if you didn't let senior itis get the best of you. Not only were all of these great advantages we experienced, but we were also able to have the community reach out and support us all as a graduating class. Many of us were able to ha enjoy having community members and friends adopt us and gift us many thoughtful and caring presents. Our faces were placed around town to showcase us so that everyone could celebrate our graduation in a way that no other class before us can boast. We were able to parade around town and visit our old elementary schools while the community cheered us on. The Delaware Valley family, from parents to friends and friendly neighbors, supported the class of 2020 in the most extraordinary of ways. While the community supported us, we, as a class, also gave back to the community numerous times. Every year, students volunteer to help in the United Way Day of Caring, the Veterans Dinner, the Empty Bulls Lunch, Red Cross Blood Drives, Special Olympics, and so many other worthwhile events. As a class, we contributed countless of hours of community service through clubs like National Honor Society, Rho Kappa, and FBLA. This year, the Student Council collected the most items ever to donate to food drives during the holidays. As Student Council President, I envisioned that we would be able to collect 3,000 items this year. Near the end of collection, we were about 25 items short, and I was not going to allow us to fall short of that goal. 
To that end, we saw many class members running around the school asking teachers to donate anything they had in the classroom to the cause. We eclipsed our goal of 3,000, and for that, the food collection truly showed me how much pride the Warriors illustrate when giving back to our community. Thankfully, there was another prime example of how this class came together as one. With the loss of a fellow warrior, we supported each other in a time of devastation and tragedy none of us could possibly foreseen. Our entire school unified to mourn the loss of a dear friend, Kyle Pasco, rallying together to raise funds for a scholarship in his name. Over the last four years, this class has demonstrated tremendous compassion and generosity to a community that we are proud to call home. While we are known to be as the pandemic class, I want everyone to remember that we are much more than the conditions that tried, us, tried to separate us these past three months. This class assembled to put in so much hard work and dedication in our high school, an effort that should not be overshadowed by the abrupt ending of our senior year. We all need to remember the good times we had in high school and celebrate all that we have accomplished. In the future, we must take what we have learned and continue in pursuit of our dreams so that we may achieve whatever we set our hearts towards accomplishing. Thank you to all the students and staff at Delaware Valley for shaping me into the person I am today. I could not have achieved much without all the incredible support of my family, teachers, coaches, administrators, and friends. I will miss Delaware Valley and the class of 2020 with all my heart. Thank you. Next is the valedictorian address from Virginia Yost. When I received an email from Dr. Blom officially notifying me that I was the valedictorian, my first thought was, I really did not want to write a speech. I'm not exactly sure what that says about me as a person, but I do know that that tiny thought set me up for a whole lot of agonizing over phrasing, word choice, and most importantly, the hours that I spent staring at the wall waiting for inspiration. As I sat there thinking that my walls either needed to be washed or repainted, I realized that I wanted to ask Mr. Gonzalez for advice. More specifically, I wanted to barge into his classroom at roughly 7.52 a.m., complain that I had to write a speech for maybe two minutes, and then listen to him say something along the lines of, if you didn't want to write a speech, then maybe you should have failed more tests. And it wasn't just Mr. Gonzalez. I wanted to watch Mr. Marcial comb through his miniature library to give me a book of famous speeches or quotes from Gandhi. I wanted to meekly ask Mr. Sandinato to edit my speech after yet again arriving late to his class because I got distracted talking to Mr. Dennis about some bizarre aspect of calculus. I wanted to go to Mrs. Pope and Sierra Catronio for encouragement, but mostly I just wanted to see all of my teachers again, past and present, and say hello, face to face, and then I wanted to be able to say goodbye. I again faced the realization that because of the COVID pandemic, I might never get the chance to properly say goodbye to the teachers that I had known throughout the most formative four years of my life, and neither would the rest of my classmates. So instead of trying to give my fellow graduates a piece of advice that they've most likely already heard several times, I thought that I would say goodbye to the faculty and staff at DV on behalf of my class. Now I recognize that anything I could say could never replace an actual conversation or farewell between a student and a member of the staff because each one of you took the time to develop strong and meaningful relationships with the students you interacted with. And each one is personal and unique. So on behalf of Delaware Valley's class of 2020, thank you. Thank you teachers, administrators, counselors, coaches, advisors, and every single staff member. No matter what position you held, you used it to teach us, to challenge us, and to support us. From you, we learned how to think critically, how to find the ever elusive X, and how to cite a source, even though we have EasyBib for that. Thank you for letting us use your microwaves to heat up our lunches, for letting us use your classrooms as second lockers, and for just generally dealing with us on a daily basis. Thank you for tuning our instruments, giving us extra time to finish a project, and encouraging our creativity in whatever form it manifested in. Thank you for grading our tests, changing our schedules, and coming up with lesson or practice plans. Even though it was because of you that we were forced to leave the one person we knew in our English class, 
It was also because of you that we found another person who would become a great friend. You teased us when we complained, listened to us when we were upset, and knocked us down a peg when we believed the entire world revolved around us. You stood up for us when we could not, whether it was to upperclassmen or referees, but most of the time you stood up to us when we told ourselves that we couldn't do it or that we weren't enough. You showed us how to stand for others and from your examples, we learned how to be students, leaders, and friends. As we step out of the halls of Delaware Valley, we cannot say how the current pandemic and protests are going to shape the world that we live in, but we do know that we are prepared to learn, to lead, and to listen, just as our teachers, coaches, and everyone at DV taught us. If I were to ask all my teachers, advisors, coaches, and administrators for advice on how best to live in this time of political strife and uncertainty, I would believe it would sound something like what C.S. Lewis wrote about living in the time of the atomic bomb. He says, the first action to be taken is to pull ourselves together. If we are all going to be destroyed by an atomic bomb or the coronavirus, let that bomb, when it comes, find us doing sensible and human things. Praying, working, teaching, reading, listening to music, bathing the children, playing tennis, chatting to our friends over a pint and a game of darts not huddled together like frightened sheep and thinking about bombs or viruses. They may break our bodies, a microbe can do that, but they need not dominate our minds. I believe our teachers would echo C.S. Lewis's words, reminding us not to live our lives in fear. And if we manage to remember those lessons and advice that DV has given to us, I believe that we are in good hands. For that, we thank you. We love you, we will miss you, and we will always remember you. But for now, God bless and goodbye. Hello again, everyone. To say that 2020 has been unusual would be an understatement. The class of 2020 missed a lot of special events this spring but I know you won't let this hold you back. You have so much to look forward to in your lives that these bumps in the road will fade away as you go on to do bigger and better things in adulthood. When I became superintendent in the summer of 2012, you were just entering fifth grade. You've grown so much in those eight years and are about to spread your wings like never before. It's such an honor to stand here before you as the superintendent of schools of Delaware Valley because we have something very special happening here at Delaware Valley. We have a culture that puts kids first and a strong desire to be great at whatever we do, whether it be academics, music, fine arts, clubs, sports, etc. We should be thankful for this positive culture and never take it for granted. I would like to take a moment to honor your classmate, Kyle Pascoe. Here's hoping he's looking down on all of you right now and will continue to look out for you as you go your separate ways after graduation. I wanna take this opportunity to say thank you to all the parents for sharing your children with us over the years. Whether you've been here for 13 years or just a few, the pleasure has been all ours. While many of you will no longer have a current DV student after today, please know that you'll always be part of the DV family. And I'm thrilled for the first time in DV history that parents will get to be on the field with their children for the awarding of diplomas. To the graduates, I offer three pieces of advice. Number one, dream big dreams of all the things you want to do in life. Number two, develop a plan to turn your dreams into goals. And number three, work as hard as you can to achieve your goals and don't listen to those who say you can't achieve them. Dream big, develop a plan, work hard. And now for the part you've all been waiting for. As superintendent of schools of the Delaware Valley School District, I certify that Dr. Blom, in conjunction with the faculty and staff of Delaware Valley High School, has supervised the satisfactory completion of the prescribed course of study undertaken by the class of 2020. Members of the Board of School Directors, 
I recommend that these students be awarded their diplomas certifying this achievement. Congratulations to the class of 2020. Thank you. And now, presenting Delaware Valley High School's Class of 2020, Bethany Heisey. Jacob Seek. Jake Peters. Xavier Lopez. Alfred Reed. Abigail Roost. Brandon Berklin. Benjamin Shewak. Faith Fox. Evan Wallace. Congratulations, Evan. Congratulations. Charles Weed. Shayla McLaughlin.
Zachary C. Hunter Orecchio. Congratulations. Have a great summer. Thank you. Monica Greening. Melody Bookie. Congratulations. Maeve McCauley. Jonathan Schweitzer. Alexis Santini. John Babbitt. Congratulations, brother. Jacob Anderland. Terrence Ring. Dylan Kenny. Steven Demo. James Steckler. Wyatt Gagnon. Okay. Congratulations, Wyatt. Thank you. Autumn Baker. Joby Curtin. Congratulations. 
Jay Shager. Timothy Lloyd. Congratulations, Tim. Keep playing that sax. Rosemita Kielty. Joseph Casella. Yeah. Kyle Ziemba. Nagrowski. Dominic Dijon. Dylan Mahalchek. Congratulations. Have a great summer. Dylan Napoli. Jeremy Edwards. Congratulations. Thank you. Have a great summer, okay? You too. Thanks. Maria Campos. Have a great summer. 
Robert Morales. Nicholas Berry. Ethan and Zena. Congratulations, Ethan. Thank you. Have a great summer. You too. Thank you. Vincent Scordato. Congratulations. Thank you. Have a great summer, okay? Thank you. I'll try to take care of you. Too. Justin Jorgensen. Congratulations. Have a great summer, okay? Evan Rocabruna. Ronald Syme. Congratulations. Thank you. Have a great summer, okay? Elijah, Elijah. Carada. Isabella Tejeda. Congratulations. Thank you. Have a great summer, you okay? Too. Riley Maney. Josh Stewart. Congratulations, Josh. Right. Have a great summer, okay? Thanks. Grace Jager. Hope Jager. Congratulations. Thank you. Have a great summer, okay? You too. Arda Jabar Olu. Jenna D'Angelo.
Have a great summer, okay? Kimberly Cohen! Sabine Shaheen. Zachary Cilia. Congratulations. Thank you. Have a great summer, okay? Mariana Gorchkova. Peter Wilson. Congratulations, Peter. Thank you, too. Have a great summer, OK? You, too. Thank you. Daniel Jorgensen. Eric Figueroa. Woo! Ethan Burns. Nicholas Ziegler. Congratulations. Thank you, Tom, sir. Have a great summer. Thank you. Congratulations. Quinn Berger. David LaForge. Congratulations. Thank you. Have a great summer, okay? You too. Shane Roach. Morgan Leibson. Congratulations. Thank you. Have a great summer, okay? Thank you. Taylor Ristano. Thank you. 
Liam Sheldon. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Have a great summer, okay? Thank you. Logan Fitzpatrick. Virginia Yost. Congratulations. Thank you. Have a great summer, okay? That's Virginia. Ashley Wilson. Cyan Vasquez. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Have a great summer. Flora Trost. Alexis King. Congratulations. Have a great summer, okay? Congratulations. Joel Loomis. James Pasek. Congratulations. Have a great summer. Congratulations. Kendrick Yu. Michael Giordano. Congratulations. You're very welcome. Have a great Thank you. Dominic Descoli. Have a great summer, okay? Daniel Lapadula. Thank you. Congratulations, Dan. Thank you. Kaylee Maines. Congratulations, Kaylee. Thank you. Have a great summer. Robert Riccio.
Jacqueline Neckers. Madison Bobby. Ashlyn Weston. Michael Dantuna. Christina Latini. Dakota Mosser. <laughs> Alyssa Frymuth. Zachary Ainella. Congratulations, Zachary. Have a great summer, okay? Tatum Bonnie. Emma Schlegel. Thank you. Have a great summer, okay? You too, thanks. Ryan Hammond. Chelsea Nestor. Congratulations, Chelsea. Thank you so much. Have a great summer. Thank okay? you. <laughs> Skylar Paget. Thank you. Have a great summer, okay? Thanks, you too. Congratulations, guys. 
Cheyenne Campbell. Mackenzie Aceta. Congratulations. Have a great summer. Congratulations. Kylie Smith. Preston Yates. Congratulations, Preston. Have a great summer, okay? Congratulations. Philip Krasicki. Joshua Hendricks. Congratulations, Joshua. Thank you. Have a great summer, okay? Congratulations, Josh. Benjamin Despoto. Jesse Umstead. Congratulations, Jesse. Have a great time, okay? Ezekiel Lentini. Joshua Musano Calabrese. Jenna Palmer. Zachary Wilson. Congratulations, Zachary. Thank you. Have a great summer, okay? Samantha Darcy. Sapphire Lane. Congratulations. Have a 
congratulations. Thank you. Have a great summer, okay? Thank you, you too. Kinsey Cuco. Jonathan Gouger. Kendra Ramsey. Congratulations, Kendra. Thank you. Congratulations. Holly Hutman. Evan V.C. Domini. Congratulations, Evan. Matthew Hartwell. Brandon Ciarelli. Congratulations. <laughs> Hannah Terranova. Congratulations, Hannah. Thank you. Good luck to you. Congratulations. Heather Starr. Congratulations, Heather. Thank you. Good luck to you. Thank you. Kayla Casero. Congratulations, Kayla. Thank you. Lucky. Congratulations. Laurel Brower. Congratulations, Laurel. Thank you. Good luck. Congratulations. Amanda Lacazzi. Rebecca Zaga. Congratulations, Rebecca. Good luck. Haley Flood. Ashley Duke. Congratulations, Ashley. 
Ashley. Thank you. Good luck to you. Joseph Conti. Mary Quinn. Congratulations, Thank Mary. You. Good luck to you. Congratulations, Mary. Joseph Manaza. Abigail Reno. Congratulations, Abigail. Congratulations, Abigail. Marielle Gates. Riley Everett. Congratulations, Riley. Thank you. Have a great summer, okay? You too. Congratulations. Olivia Gandolfo. Sierra Dindial. Congratulations. Have a great summer. Gabrielle Loda. Cassidy Kaufman. Congratulations. Thank you. You're very welcome. Have a great summer, okay? Thank you. Great. Congratulations. Joshua Steinberg. Camila Alario. Ashley Thalassinos. Julia Ficken. Kayla Urena. Tara Stevenson. Congratulations. 
Congratulations, Tara. Thank you. Congratulations, Tara. Thank you. Shannon Degnan. Thank you. Thank you. Lauren Weinrich. Congratulations, Lauren. Thank you. Good luck to you. Thank you. Congratulations. Carly Locke. Brianna Silva. Congratulations, Brianna. Thank you. Thanks. Matthew Studsrud. Jesse Rosado. Congratulations, Jesse. Thank you. Good luck. Thank you. Caitlin Valenti. Zelinski. Congratulations, Aaron. Thank you. Good luck in the future. Thank you. Congratulations. Thomas Stoughton. Stephanie Borges. Tarna Badelman. Ellie Nantista. Darius Bermudez. Benjamin Lefber. Congratulations, Ben. Thank you. Lucky future. Samantha Burgess.
Chelsea Snyder. Jada Gonzalez. Cheyenne Fernandez. Congratulations, Cheyenne. Frankie Amodio. Ethan Crane. Congratulations, Ethan. Thank you. Look in the future. Thank you. Congrats, Ethan. Thomas Thompson. Joseph Kelly. Congrats, Joe. Thank you. Congratulations, Joe. Thank you. Good luck in the future. Caroline Waska. Allison O'Toole. Congratulations, Allison. Thank you. Thank you. Congrats, Allie. Thank you. Harley Rosheni. Emma Boyd. Congratulations, Emma. Thank you so much. Good luck in the future. Thank you. Congratulations. Ilya Williams. Destiny Mann. Congratulations, Destiny. Thank you. Congrats, Destiny. Thank you. Haley Guttenplan. Anthony Decker. Congratulations, Anthony. Thank you. Congratulations. Infinite Campbell.
congratulations. Thank you, thank you. All right, thank you. Angela Mendez. Angela Mendez. Angela Mendez. Angela Mendez. Angela Mendez. Angela Mendez. Taylor Ann Fallon. Congratulations. Christopher Tant. Kaylee Baker. Alexis Frazier. Somebody's trying to listen. <laughs> I'm trying. Congratulations. Thank you. All right. <laughs> Thank you. Drew Prajabati. Samuel Murray. Congratulations, Samuel. William Murray. Isabella Azzolini. Congratulations, Isabella. Thank you. Congratulations. Nicholas Azzolini. Emily Pratko. Congratulations, Emily. Good luck in the future. Congratulations. Savannah Biazzi. Langbein. Congratulations, Allison. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Allison Sodano. Emily Gigi. Congratulations, Emily. Thank you. Thank you. 
Emily Ocasio. Jake Senior. Sebastian Edwards. Travis Norman. Congratulations, Travis. Thank you. Good luck in your future. Thank you. Sydney Murray. McFeely. Congratulations, Abby. Terry Cuck. Abigail Babbitts. Congratulations, Abigail. Congratulations. Caitlin Smith. Isabel Covert. Congratulations, Isabel. Genelise Valentine Reyes. Matthew Dobb. Way to go, Matthew. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Jaylene Cruz. Eric Lefsick. Zachary Hawkins. Lucia Vitanza. Congratulations. 
Joshua LaDuke. Ryan Inella. Dominic Puglisi. Trevor McElroy. <laughs> Timothy Oakley. Madison Jout. Victoria and Jacqueline Platt. Shelby McBride. Aaron McNamara. Ryan Glenn. Madison Schumann. Mason Palmer. Nicholas Strozalka. Emily McElroy. Congratulations. Michaela Stoll. Angelina Montello. Danielle Zanolini.
Luke Stevens. Jacqueline Dezenzo. Ashley Kaziz. Tino. Matthew Johnson. Nicole Traxler. Ryan Santini. Peter Santini. Sydney Cadigan. Jibwe Jin. Patrick Horn. Harley Stone. Matthew Bud. Elizabeth Storms. Caden Chersaro. Seth Kroll. Congratulations. Trevor Harvey.
Congratulations. Gavin Brozanskis. Damian Baranowski. Kyle Grunwald. Joshua Falkrasel. Noah Sorrell. Stefan Lindas. Amanda Annette. Thomas Porco. Jackson Schaefer. Jack Caraba. Aiden Kane. Jack Luffy. <laughs> Stephen Nackman. Caius McGill. <laughs> Megan Tercy. Shiko. Zachary Quill.
Nicholas Lepore. Rogan Mills. <laughs> Melissa Schaefer. Jacqueline Accidano. Mia Van Wee. Gabrielle Lee. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Thank you. Samantha Garcia. Grace and Ignost. Amy Bolino. Morgan Lee. Michael Newton. John Necker. Lena Augusta. Yeah. 
Sophia Wood. Angus Muddy. Joseph DeVito. Aiden Dussel. Natalia Lishka. Travis Mahano. Shane Boom. Roger Neff. Emily Anderson. Simona Grinfeld. Thomas Hull. Mackenzie McGowan. Dean Padone. Dominic Palmer. Rachel Lejeune.
Shane Lewis. Cassandra Grassman. Selena McGinnis. Riley Carroll. Jillian Cruz. Isaiah Berrios. Caitlin King. Rowan Rhodes. Congratulations. Ariana Peters. Nicholas Dinos. Francesca Matthews. Harrison Wilborg. Thank you.
Congrats, Angela. Ayana Kozak. Vincent Diambola. Janya Mazzarello. Ashley Pallotta. Kelsey Dorenberger. Matthew Holly. Alexandra Stefanik. Connor Sullivan. Joanne Fouché. Jemmy. Alyssa Petrillo. Madeline Witherell.
Aiden Walter. Adam Apostle. Zachary Manigold. Nathaniel Jones. Jasmine Johnson. Thank you very much. Brianna Hall. Congratulations to the class of 2020.